Welcome, my name's Ian Cahoon, I'm the Chair of Raleigh Bush Care and in this instructional video we'll be showing you how to protect these Jarrah trees from Phytophthora dieback. I will be showing you how to inject Jarrah trees with phosphite solution, which is a fungicide that's been shown to be effective against Phytophthora dieback disease that's present in the, the Jarrah forest and also in Banksia woodland areas around Perth. What we'll be doing is putting a solution into this tree. Now the tree, this jarra tree here, is uh, really a massive pipe. It's a plumbing system, such that water is taken from the soil, goes through the plumbing system and up to the leaves. So what we have to do is get this chemical into, this, into these pipes so that it can go into the, the tree where it stays for about five years, giving uh, each of these trees resistance against this dieback disease for five years. So this is a special tree syringe that's uh, been developed for this job. Um, within this barrel is a large spring which is used to, to push the chemical into the tree. And at the end here in the nozzle you can see there's a thread and that helps to give a good seal when you drill the tree and push the syringe in. You can twist so you get a good seal. So you've got the, uh, the plunger here for the syringe. So when you pull that out it's uh, compressing the spring so you get so far and then you can twist it. And you can see here that the plunger is sitting on a lip such that it's, it's kept there. You'd have the 20 millilitres of chemical in there and that syringe is then ready to be put into the, put into the tree. So here's one that's, that's already filled with the, the chemical. So it's got 20 millilitres of chemical in the syringe. Now the research that's been done by state government departments has shown that you have to pump in 20 millilitres of this chemical every 20 centimetres of the circumference, which is roughly from your pinky to your thumb. So to drill the tree we're just using an ordinary cordless uh, electric drill with a 4.5 millimetre drill bit and that's designed for the nozzle uh, dimensions. So we, we use the drill to, to, uh, to put a, drill about two centimetres into the tree, like so. You can see the wood's coming out a nice cream colour, which means it's live. Then the syringe fits into that uh, hole you've just drilled. So we need to get a good seal between the syringe and the wood. So at the end of the syringe we have um, a thread, so we can, we can twist to get the syringe into the tree and get it well sealed. As I said before, the plunger is on this lip at the end of the syringe, so we just have to pull it out and turn it an eighth of a turn, and that releases the plunger, which then means that that large spring is pushing the chemical into the tree. You can see the, the plunger is going in already, so we'll, you'll put another syringe 20, centi to 20 centimeters further in. Uh, what you should look out for is that sometimes the, that part of the wood may be dead. So when you drill, you'll get black wood coming out, black sawdust, and that indicates that that part of the tree is dead and it will not take up the phosphite solution. In that case, you have to move around to try and find a live, live part of the tree to inject. So after somewhere between 10 minutes and maybe up to an hour, uh, the syringe will, will put the phosphate chemical into the tree. And you know it's empty because the plunger is right down at the base uh, and all the liquid is now into the tree. And now you can just easily just unscrew the syringe and that is ready to be refilled. Um, these, some of these syringes are six or seven years old, so you can keep on using these same syringes again and again. Mm -hmm. 